Hi mga sis! Welcome back to my channel! This is me, Christine Joy, your OFW Pharmacist here in Dubai. And for today's video, I know most of you really waited for this video because this is the most requested video of all times. So what is our topic for today's video? Let's talk about the salary of the pharmacist here in the UAE. And uh, I will share to you also uh, what are the benefits you can get when you work here as a pharmacist in the UAE. And I apologize if it took me some time to make this video because I made myself ready when I will share this topic to you. And you know, I am only two years here in UAE and I'm for me, I'm not that much experienced when it comes to all the process and all the information regarding the salary of the pharmacist here in Dubai. So I need to do some research first in order for me to share accurate information to all of you. That's why it took me some time to make this video. Disclaimer, I am not an agent. I am not an expert. I am just me, Christine Joy. I'm just sharing my information to all of you so that you have an idea when you come here in the UAE or if you're interested to work as a pharmacist here in the UAE. And another disclaimer, all the salary that I'll be mentioned is based on approximate only. Means uh, it can be higher or it can be lower. So that depends on every company. In this video, as you can see in, in the title, there is plus free reviewer. And hopefully you will finish this video so that you know how you can avail this free reviewer that I am giving. So I know you're really, really, really excited to know how much is a pharmacist earning here in the UAE. So I don't want to cut your excitement. Let's jump directly into the video. So we will begin with the first stepping stone of every pharmacist here in the UAE. We will begin with the salary of the trainee pharmacist as you all know everyone started from the bottom mostly of us started from this position a trainee pharmacist is a fresh graduate he or she don't have experience in his or her home country a trainee pharmacist may also be having an experience but less than two years or you can be a trainee pharmacist if you have experience more than two years in your home country or even here in the uae but you still don't have DHA license. So the starting salary of a trainee pharmacist is from 2,000 to 3,000 dirhams. When you convert it to peso, it's 26,000 to 40,000. If you think about it, it's, I know, alam ko yung nasa isip nyo, ay, mababa lang pala siya. Ay, yun lang. Yun yung nasa isip nyo, diba? Pero kung iisipin nyo siya kasi, ano siya eh, kumbaga fresh graduate ka kahit wala kang experience mula sa Pilipinas, bagong-bago ka sa um, career na ito. Pwede ka magtrabaho dito bilang trainee pharmacist kahit wala kang experience doon sa Philippines. Or pwede din na may experience ka pero hindi pa nga enough or wala ka pa talagang license. Yun. So everyone really started from the bottom. That's why it's okay if it's as of now you're earning like this much because... You know, later on, on, on the end of this video, you will know all your hard work, all your patience, all your sacrifices will be paid off. So don't worry if you started from the bottom because mostly of us really started from the bottom. And you don't have license, that's why the salary is not that much. So next one is the salary of the assistant pharmacist or pharmacy assistant. Pharmacy assistant are those with pharmacy assistant license. But they are a graduate of diploma in pharmacy means they don't have bachelor, master's, or doctorate. So the salary of pharmacy assistant depends on their experience, may it be from their home country or in the UAE. But mostly if you have experience here in the UAE, you will really get more salary. So the starting salary of pharmacy assistant is from 2500 to 3000 In the Philippines, I think uh, wala masyadong nag-apply ng pharmacy assistant dito kasi... 
um, wala naman ata tayong diploma in pharmacy. I think, usually kasi sa Philippines, bachelor na lang eh. Hindi ko lang alam sa ibang school kung meron pang nag-offer ng diploma in pharmacy. Pero, sa mind ko, dati, meron ata. Pero ngayon, parang very less na lang kung meron pang nag-offer. And I know, everyone is really waited for this part, which is the salary of a DHA pharmacist. So, we will divide into two. It could be a fresher or it could be an experienced pharmacist. So, let's start first with a fresher as, you know, we are all starting from the bottom. So, we will start as a fresh DHA pharmacist. A fresher DHA pharmacist means you have a DHA license. You pass already the exam, finished the data flow and all. You just recently came here in the UAE and you don't have UAE experience. That's why you are fresh. So you pass the exam. You already have your DHA license. You have your eligibility letter. So you will apply here in Dubai as a DHA pharmacist. So your starting salary is from 4,000 to 5,000. Again, it depends on the company. So it can be higher or it can be lower. I will mention some factors later why there are differences in the salary of every employee here. So 4,000 to 5,000 is the starting salary of a fresher pharmacist here in UAE. So that's equivalent to 52,000 to 65,000. Sa madali pong salita, para mas maintindihan ng aking mga kababayan, kung kayo po ay nagpunta dito sa UAE, wala pa kayong experience, meron lang kayong experience sa home country, nakapasa na po kayo ng exam, yun po yung starting yun na sahod. 52,000 po to 65,000. Wow. Ayaw nyo ba nun? <laughs> I really encourage everyone to take the exam first or pass the exam first before going here in the UAE because it's easier for you to find job also when you already have the DHA license and the salary difference also between the trainee and the pharmacist is you know it's kind of big amount then so yun na yung sahod na isang pharmacist dito nasagot ko na ba ang minimitin yung tanong and if you have experience in the Philippines or in your home country employer will not look for your experience in the Philippines is they, are, they will really check or usually they will really ask if you have experience here in the UAE. That's why experience here in the UAE really matters. Yeah. So kahit ano ka pa sa Pilipinas, kahit um, in charge ka pa doon or ordinary lang na pharmacist, pagpunta mo dito, kung wala kang experience sa UAE, pareho lang kayo ng sahod. Yan. And yun nga, dapat mamaya ko pa siya i-mention. Another factor kasi is the performance mo sa interview. Yun, nagmamatter din yun siya. Kung masyado kang magaling, masyado mong ginalingan sa interview. So, alam mo yun, makukuha mo yung sahod na sinabi mo sa kanila. Kasi dito, di ba sa atin, um, hindi lahat nagtatanong kung magkano yung gusto mong sweldo. Hindi lahat ha. Pero meron din naman mga employer doon nagtatanong talaga. Pero dito, tinatanong talaga kung how much salary you are expecting from us. Yung usual na tinatanong ng mga employer dito. If you have already gained some experience here in the UAE, most probably one year, two years, but it's better if longer. The longer, the better. <laughs> the starting salary of an experienced DHA pharmacist here in the UAE starts from 5000 upwards. And upwards na siya kasi it differs already on the factors that I mentioned. I will repeat later what are those factors. So 5,000 means 65,000 upwards. It can reach up until 100,000. So 65,000, kung meron ka ng experience dito. Wow. By the way, the salary that I mentioned is based on the retail pharmacy area retail pharmacy siya because i'm working in the retail so for the hospital pharmacist naman their salary is a bit higher compared to the retail you cannot get as much as 10,000 more than 10,000 when you're working in the retail but if you are working in the hospital usually their starting salary is from 6,000 7,000 for the fresher but that depends on the hospital also because i know 
someone who works in the hospital, he also didn't get that much. But usually, um, 6,000 to 7,000 starting for the hospital pharmacies and you can get more than 10,000 if you have already hospital experience. The problem is that when in a hospital pharmacy, they will usually hire those with the hospital pharmacy experience also. And parang ganon din sa Pilipinas, usually pag hospital, may bakar-bakar din, ganon. So, hindi ka agad-agad makakapasok. And ganon din sa mga government hospital or government section. Yan. Sa government, mas malaki yung sasahurin mo. For the factors that affect the salary of a pharmacist here in the UAE. First one, experience. So, as I mentioned, if you have more experience, you will get more. But, it depends on the second factor, that is your performance on the interview. Even if how many years you are working here, but you didn't perform well in your interview, you will not get that salary that you are expecting from the employer. That's why it really does matter if you did well in the interview portion. And I think they also ask this question, like, if you're a master's or doctors, you will get more salary. Um, well, actually, meron din kaming kasama dito. Masters din siya, pero same lang din naman siya ng sahod ng mga naka-bachelor. Depends on some company, but usually, are not uh, looking into your educational degree. And for the other benefits that you will get if you work as a pharmacist here in the UAE, first one, other than your salary, you will get incentives. That's from reaching the sales target from the push list. Push list are those uh, products that they have more profit compared to the other items. So that's why you have to push. And another one, in-house products. Since they are the products of that company you are working into. That's why we are pushing also to sell. And incentives actually depends on per company also. Some companies are not giving. Some companies also are giving. Then you will also have your health insurance. So that will cover your checkup, your medicine, laboratory, and other stuff. And also, some companies are giving free accommodation. But that depends also on the company because other companies are not giving. And also, you will get a free air ticket after your two-year contract. And also, it depends per company. So, different, different company, different, different policy. Again, I want to summarize everything. So the salary of a trainee pharmacist is from 2,000 to 3,000 equivalent to 26,000 to 40,000 pesos and for pharmacy assistant 2,500 to 3,000 it's equivalent to 32,500 to 40,000 and for the fresher DHA pharmacist starting salary is from 4,000 to 5,000 equivalent to 52,000 pesos to 65,000 pesos. And for an experienced DHA pharmacy starts from 5,000 upwards. So a starting salary of an experienced DHA pharmacist is from 65,000 up to 100,000. It's either higher or lower than the amount I mentioned. And for those who are not uh, from Philippines, you can just multiply their hamster equivalent currency to get the exact amount that I mentioned. Okay? And as I promised at the end of this video, I will give a free reviewer for those who can follow the instruction. First one, we have an FB page. It's Pharmacy So you just like and follow this page. And I will present five questions. So these questions are very important to me because these are the questions that came out of my DHA exam. So just answer these five questions correctly and send the correct answer to my FB page, Pharmacy C. Don't forget to send to Pharmacy C, okay? Because if you send on my personal Facebook page, there's a tendency that I cannot read because it's going to the message request. And after that, just share the video. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And then, you tag three of your friends, may it be a pharmacist or not, that's no problem. And encourage them to subscribe to my channel so that you'll help me also to make my channel grow and just send a proof or any screenshot that you already subscribed and your friends are also subscribed to my channel and if you got the wrong answer don't worry i will give you unlimited chances to make your 
answer correct. And if you're done following all the instructions that I mentioned, just comment on this video. Done. And I will reply as much as possible after reading all here. And so, ko, ang gagawin nyo lang po is may Facebook page po tayo. That's for Ms. Easy. I-like and follow nyo lang po. And then, meron akong 5 questions na prepare. Yung 5 answers doon na tama, isend nyo lang po sa aking Facebook page. And, i-share nyo na rin po yung video na to. And, mag-subscribe na rin po kayo sa channel ko. And, uh, i-share nyo rin sa mga friends nyo, either pharmacist sila or hindi. Okay lang po. Na-encourage nyo po sila na mag-subscribe po sa aking channel para matulungan nyo po ako na mag-grow ang aking channel. Send nyo lang po yung proof or screenshot po na nakapag-subscribe na po sila. And for the chances, unlimited po ang chances kung magkamali kayo. Sige, mag-send ulit po kayo ng answer. May message ko lang po kayo kung tama or mali siya. And pagtapos na po kayo, follow nyo na po lahat. Mag-comment na po kayo ng done dito sa ating video. Para uh, ma-check ko siya agad. So, I think I covered everything from the bottom to the top. I have one more advice to you. Like, if you really want to go abroad, you will not only get a higher salary, but you will get an unforgettable experience. Yung journey, yun yung mismo. Kung mas dapat nyo i-goal. Kasi, mas maganda yung experience as well as nag-earn ka na rin ng magandang saho. Hopefully, nasayan kayo sa video na ito. Huwag nyo pong kalimutang mag-like, share, and subscribe. And hit yung notification bell para update kayo sa mga bago kong upload. And kung may gusto kayong isuggest na mga video na pwede natin gawin, don't forget to leave a comment sa comment section. And I'll be very happy for your suggestions. Once again, thank you so much for watching. This is me, Christine Joyer, the pharmacist here in Dubai. Bye! Now turn up.